Well, hello, my fiends. It's me, David the Rock Nelson, again. I got my Tor Johnson shirt on, see? Plan Bash from outer space. Big Tor Johnson, big Swedish meatball. And I got my nice hot Java. Got a free and jewel. But I want to say something about that shooting incident. Some people think, oh, we've turned our back on God, and that's why this happened. This is the result. No. And oh no, I don't believe that. I believe it was because of some idiot, some person with mentally messed up, deranged for that amount of time, and took his rage out on those innocent people, like sitting ducks. And they didn't, it was not the result of turning our back on God, or America turning their back on God, no. It was because of some idiot, some punk with a gun that shouldn't have had one. And we know we always like say, oh yeah, we turned our back on God and this is the result. No! Some idiot with a gun did it! It had nothing to do with the people that, got, that were victims. It had nothing to do with that town. It had nothing to do with those kids. That guy shouldn't have done that. People should feel safe in their own town. When they're in school, when they're walking down the street, when they're doing the things that they like to do, they should be safe. They should, I should be safe walking out of South Side Chicago down to Cottage Grove and 96th Street if I want. 99th and Cottage Grove if I want, at 2 in the morning if I want. But you can't, because that's a dangerous area late at night. You know, you don't want to be out in the south side over there at M Street, and, you know, where Bowie Gould used to live out there. Avenue L, whatever. <laughs> Avenue M. <laughs> you know, punks are on there, man. But you know, and, and, and you know, south side has a lot of dangerous, dangerous people late at night, but I'm just saying, that's reality. But you know what the good thing about this is? Now those teachers will probably be able to carry handguns, and that's the way it should be. They should be trained, they should take shooting lessons, they should be ready in case some other punk tries that. They should have been ready before. You know, in the Marines, it's not called a gun, it's a weapon. You respect that weapon. You treat it like it's your, like it's your baby, you know? You take care of it, you clean it, and you keep the gun on safety, that means you should not see red on that little safety button. If you see red, that means it's off at safety. If the button's out, that means it's, it's on safety, it's, uh, it's off safety. That means it'll fire accidentally if you bump the trigger. So, and when you're not using it, it should not be loaded. Like if it's around the house, um, I wouldn't, you know, I wouldn't want like some kid or somebody to find that weapon loaded and off safety. You should always have the safety on so that, uh, it won't accidentally go off and hurt somebody. So when it's in your holster, it should be on safety. You know, and, it, and if, if you have to fire in self-defense, if some guy goes crazy in your school or whatever, you know, then you can take it off safety and aim and shoot the bum. Shoot the punk. Blow the punk away, man. It's better than him shooting a bunch of other innocent people. That's what we would have done in the Marine Corps. We were trained for that. That's not violent, that's not evil, that's self-defense, that's preserving the life of innocent people. That is the Christian thing to do. Yes, and some people think that God's all nicey-nice all the time. God's a fighter too. And you need to read the book of Revelation where it talks about how one day God will fight in that battle of Armageddon and the blood will be up to the bridles of the horses. He's gonna slay the armies of the Antichrist. Yeah, that's the best, the battle of Armageddon. That's sometime in the future, we don't know when that's gonna be. And it's not gonna be 2012 neither. The world's not going to be destroyed in 2012. The world's not going to blow up. God needs the earth. It could be, you know, the, the Bible says heaven will come down and be on earth one day. So, you know, the world isn't going to be blown up or nothing. I'm not, I'm not worried about it because God needs the earth. Because, uh, you know, like I say, heaven, heaven will come down to earth one day. New Jerusalem will come down out of heaven. So the world's not going to be blown up. This 2012 stuff is a bunch of baloney. You know, the, earth's not, the world's not going to end in 2012. And, uh, okay, I'll see you, brother. But, um, you know, like I said, it's a real world out there. Some of your parents need to let your kids watch The Untouchables instead of cartoons all the time. It's a real world. Life isn't all a big cartoon. Your kids in the wusses. The sissies, because they watch all these sissy shows. You know, their heroes are some singer with the long hair and acts like a girly boy, girly man. Instead of watching The Untouchables with Robert Stack as Elliot Ness, my childhood hero. That's why, you know, I, Elliot Ness was my childhood hero. He was like a role model. You know, and, and Smoking Joe Frazier was my boxing hero. Was, that's why I started building my body and lifting weights and eating good because I want to be built like Joe Frazier. I want to have muscles like George Foreman. 
But see, I didn't, my role models weren't some sissy, wussy, you know, you know, kid with long hair, acting like a girly boy, you know? My heroes were men. Okay. And Boris Karloff, that's another hero of mine. He was a good actor. He, he was a man. He might have had big muscles and stuff, but he was a man. Boris Karloff was tough, too. He was a hard worker. He, he did all kinds of labor. You know, he might have looked skinny, but he had muscles there. I'll see you. I'm gonna shut up. I'm in the store now. I gotta be cool. Get my free job. I'm like,